good afternoon, I guess, mountain bikers. So I made an intro for this video and I scrapped it. Now that I've done the trail, I wanted to give you a little bit more information. Uh, today we rode the whole enchilada. It was incredible. Super fun. Couple things you should know though. It starts out flowy-ish, still very technical, but lots of really fun slick rock sections. Like the top of the, well, the half inch lot of we did was incredible. The middle section is the fire road from hell. It's like three to four miles of just boulders everywhere is what it felt like. My body and my bike just took a beating and it, it almost felt like, why are we doing this trail? Why am I riding this? But then we got into some really fun stuff and then it just got scary again. So if this is a ride you're planning on doing, number one, make sure you have your long travel bike. Very important. Uh, number two, pump up that tire pressure. Forklift number three, way. have everything you need with you because there is nothing out there. Nothing. And you have no cell service either. Bring everything you need. Uh, we were fine with our Dekine hit packs with 70 milliliters of water, but I mean, that's us. Um, not milliliters. What is it? 70 ounces? Those are 70 ounce packs. 70 ounce packs, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why 7 milliliters. Uh, but, I mean, we, we ended up doing like 18 miles, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, make sure you have everything you need with you. And be prepared to, to get your bones charred. We're going to go ride. We are still in our approach to the trailhead, but look at that view. The mountains are beautiful. And I believe if you do the whole enchilada, which we can't do today, you start up there at Burrow Pass. And you drop way more than we're gonna drop today. Because of conditions, this is the highest we can start. Otherwise we would be riding in snow and we're not equipped for that, nor can the shuttle get up there. So we're not really doing the whole enchilada. We're doing more of a half enchilada, but we're doing the good half. Bring it back when we get to the trailhead. Go ahead, whole enchilada, here we go. Well, half the enchilada. So this section is pedally, but it's really cool. It's kind of up and down on the rocks. Super pretty. We got amazing morning temperatures. It's a great way to start out right here. Oh, that was cool. Not bad. It's 
So this is a section I don't know if I've ever seen on film. Most people just kind of film the upper and lower portions of the porcupine single track. This section's really cool. This is fun. It's different. Very slick rocky with some mud thrown in. Oh my god. Wow. We had to do a quick photo up. We are riding again. So we just got an incredible view of, I don't even know what canyon or rim this is anymore. There's so many that are just unreal. But this, it was incredible. <laughs> Just know that. Oop. Yeah, that's pretty fun. <sighs> Unreal. That was kind of gnarly. Woo! Oh my gosh, the trail is so fun. That section was cool. I kind of want to drop that. Yeah! How was it? I'm not gonna lie, for a second there I thought you were going down. <laughs> Good for you, man. That line was crazy. We got some snow on the trail. You can hear the tires grabbing the rock, it's so cool. I wasn't sure where the line was. There we go, this is trail. Ah.
Yeah, I can't believe I made that. Oh, this is so steep. Oh, that was so steep. Ow. I saw we're getting close to the cliff, so I put on the brakes hard. Ooh, there's some exposure. Exposure's for real. That's kind of sketchy. Right at the cliff. Wow. So this trail definitely has some exposure. Luckily, it's on relatively narrow, mellow, or sorry, not narrow, mellow parts of the trail. Take it easy and it's not bad. But you may have heard me take a couple deep breaths. They weren't kidding when they said sand. So they weren't kidding when they said the sand flats. The other thing about this, it, it's a very good thing. It's been marked very well. At no point have I been like, uh-oh, lost the trail. Ooh, that's a little sketch. We'll say this, this is the trail you're gonna ride. Bring a long travel bike. And your technical skills. I got recommend some knee pads too. It's doable. Yeah. I can't believe I just did that.
I went right down the middle. Yep. So we're about to drop into the lower porcupine. I've seen videos of this section, and after watching those, I know that I'm not going to ride this section. Wait, is this porcupine? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Nope. This is above my, my skill level, and I'm okay with that. If you can ride this, good for you. Oh, yes, here we go. Ooh, that's tight. Something kind of sneaks up on you. So one of the things Dan and I have been talking about since we switched to flats, it's made us much more aware of our body position and our technique. And that has paid off so much on this trip. So if you're someone who's still riding clipped in and you've never ridden flats, if you're some thinking about coming here, I'd recommend switching, giving it a try, getting used to flat pedals. And if it's not your thing, it's not your thing, you know, switch back, but I couldn't imagine riding the trail clipped in. And I rode clipped in for a very long, like 15 years. But on Ahab, there were quite a few sections where had I been clipped in, it would have been bad. Here, same. And just being able to work your body to your advantage helps. Quick little climb. We're going right along the rim here. Wow. <laughs> That was sketch. Can't beat these views. That wasn't very easy.
Uh, tight. Oh, that other line was cool. <clears throat> my suspension is getting its hair today. Oh my god. That was a little sketch. Whew. Cool section though. There we go. That little rock garden car stuff guard. Had to go back and redo it. So one thing I will say about this place that I may have already said, I'm not sure. And these rock gardens, your line choice does matter. You can make this as, I want to say as easy, as moderate to difficult as you want. There's some drops that you just can't avoid. But with a couple exceptions, most everything has been rollable. And the stuff that's not, if it's got a good runoff, we'll do it. But a lot of these happens. Oh, I hesitated. Dang it. Okay, that's better. That was a sketchy little rock garden. There we go. Wow, this is Jack. Oh, my God. That was so technical. That was cool. Oh man. So a lot of the descriptions of this trail are uh, bone jarring. I get it. Whoop. 
Hope you have a good balance. Wow, that was crazy. That was Parker City. So the other thing I'll say, in these steeper sections, once you pick your line, that's your line. You better commit, because you're not stopping. I'm gonna give the camera a rest. Looks like we got some double track for a minute. If we have something really cool, I'll turn it back on. So, I'm not sure where we are. But this trail kind of opened up on some double track. Oh, it's got a big rock with my toe. And, uh, you know, theme of the trip, more rocks. What's kind of fun with this double track is you can pick some different lines that are pretty cool. Yeah, got a little drop in there. Throw my bike in full squish mode. This section is not quite as pedally as some of the other sections we've been on. You good? One thing a lot of videos are not showing you is this big fire oak line right in the middle of the ride. So bring your long travel and drill bike. You'll be happy as long as it's a bike that pedals. Leave your downhill bike at home. We've been climbing for a while. And uh, first part of the ride, while it is predominantly downhill, it's still very pedally. It is not a straight up downhill trail. I'll bring it back in a little bit. We've been on that fire road for a while now. And looks like we're going downhill again, finally. And this is probably that bone jarring section that people talk about in the reviews of this trail. Because wow. And there is no good line. So I feel like we've been on the fire road from hell for a couple miles now. And it has some moments of fun, but wow, this is getting rough. I, I don't know if this section is worth it for the fun parts, is what I'm getting at. We'll see, we haven't hit the bottom yet. Not supposed to be where the trail really shines. The top was very fun, but damn, this sucks. So we just saw a sign that said bikes to the right. I'm really hoping that means we're done with fire road. But who knows? Nope, not yet. I'll bring you back. Still on fire road. I mean, this is very much a Jeep trail, but it seems to be getting a little bit more interesting with these cool little descents. Woo. So that's good. Yep. That's been the most fun we've had in a while right there.
still in the stupid fire though, but at least we get a nice view now. And that little drop session was fun. It was a little bit of fun to follow. Hopefully we have more stuff coming. Yep. It's kind of nice to actually get off the rocks for a minute. Man. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, this looks so gnarly. Whoop, that was gnarly. Oh, man. All right, looks like we're getting into some slick rock again. That's cool. Is it droppable? Yeah, you, well, you have to jump it. It's not super easy to play. Yeah. So we just saw some signs to let us know we're going the right way, which is good. But we're going the right way into this again. Where are you, single track? Where are you? Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. I was not in the right gear. So we're getting into some sections that look a little bit more fun, finally. Still kind of smashing back in fire road, but at least it has a couple cooler sections to offer. It's not quite as rough. And we're still getting the view, which is nice. Okay, this is getting a little bit more fun now. Doable? Oh, that was cool. Doable? Oh, that was cool. Nice. So the show is getting fun again. Whoa! Dude, this is a blast right here. What's that? Uh, we've been on LPS for a while, I think. Oh, yeah? oh, I don't really know. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're having fun now. That was good. Some fun little drops. Oh yeah. 
That section was fun. Not the best landing. <sighs> this is why we came out here. We've been film mode this whole time. I should make those landings a little softer. Oh, I got a smile on my face again. <sighs> Straight. Oh, we're working on our drops today. I wasn't ready for that one. That's okay. This is still a good line. There was a drop right there. Seems to be about the size of the ones we were just doing, but it's got a pretty flat landing. I'm all about the ones that have some small transitions. They're the smaller ones landing the flat. That one's a good size. Yeah, I think this is the way, right? It's gotta be. Oh, that was big. Thank you suspension for saving me. That one was borderline not rollable. Had I had less travel, I think that could have been an OTP moment. Okay, now this trail is super fun. I don't like that landing. I don't know about that. We found some more stuff that's not not doable for us. Well, maybe doable, but not a good idea, we'll say.
Dan, what do you see? Single track. Chipmunk. That was fun. Okay, all organized again, back to the fun. And this is a fun single track. Battery switch. There's the road on the other side of the Yeah. This is so just fast and fun. Oh, that was kind of gnarly. Yeah! Dude, that was kind of gnarly. That was fun. <sighs> oh, wide bars. Ooh, not a good place to have a pedal strike. Ah! There we go. That was almost bad. Huh. 
<laughs> I almost ate it off that little island. I keep catching my pedal on things. No, thanks. Do people actually climb this? I don't know. I've got to be like 0.1% of the people to do that. Have you finished this on top of it? No way. I would question that. But if they can, I'd love Good to. Good for you. The little hike a bike section. Now we're pedaling again. Oh, this section's hard. Oh, no bueno. Oh, I'm a little too tall for this. That was nerve wracking. This is pretty exposed too. Kind of harrowing. Not gonna lie. Oh, that exposure is making me nervous. Oh man. Wow. Unreal. Yeah, right back to the truck, right? I think so, yeah. Section's a little off camber. Definitely some gnarly stuff. If you're going down this for the first time, be aware of it. Off camber, lots of, you can see where lots of people have had some pedal strikes. What? Yeah. And line choice matters. <laughs> wow. Do you think people air this? That's badass. Dude. That's so big. It's not me. It's badass. Yeah, not me. I love to watch it.
a little close. Ooh, that was a hard stopper. Take that line. Oh, I picked such a bad line through there. I was right on the edge. Oh my God. How do you ride this? Oh, Whew. I've got a death grip on my bike right now. So, the lower porcupine single track is freaking gnarly. I would give it a double black rating for sure. I think this might be the hardest show I've ever been on. So, no, not mine. This is the hardest show I've ever been on. I thought Captain Ahab was much easier.
Wow. Man, this tail just beat you up. Man, that was so fun and so scary. This is definitely the most scared I've ever been on a mountain bike. I think we just pedal out from here. And we're getting close. Thanks. Yes. Nice. Oh man, that was hard. I just heard you. It made me all nervous. What? Well, he's crazy. That's insane. You gotta have a. That section was crazy. Nice. Almost nice. Are you serious? I'm not a trials rider. No way. That's all you, man. <laughs> you sure, Dan? I'm a I don't even know how to land. I don't either. Like I said, I'm not a trials rider. God, on video, it looks so small, too. Whew.
finally getting close to the end here, which I'm actually pretty excited about because I'm tired. Still beat the crap out of me. I'm ready for some food. I hope you enjoyed this video. We made it. We made the half enchilada. Am I speaking too soon? And, uh, yeah, I'd say it's worth doing. I definitely enjoyed Ahab more, though. Oh, wrong gear. Please don't break my free hub. Yay. Yay, we did it. Ooh, we get to go through a tunnel. This is kind of cool. All right, we did it. It was a fun ride. It was very fun. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm bringing it down two points for that fire road from hell section I was talking about. And frankly, the bottom scared the crap out of me. Uh, we always talk about finding our limits. I found my limit today. And I, I, it, I was right on the edge of it. So, 8 out of 10 fun factor for me. Uh, would I do it again? I'm really not sure. I've been asking myself that question all day. If I could skip the fire road section, yes. But I just don't know if it's worth it again. I, to Just the beating that I took today. Uh, Captain Ahab, in my opinion, was way better. Captain Ahab was a 10 out of 10. So, if you're thinking about riding it, it is worth doing. I was very happy I did it. And there were some sections that were super fun, and I pushed all of my limits today. But make sure that you are really up on your technical skills. If you're not, don't do it. And uh, make sure you don't have a fear of heights, because there's some exposure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my Strava for more info. Thanks for riding with us. We'll see you next time.